Yeah, there was actually there's actually a lot of moments where both of us are wearing tank tops and scenes. And so I'll see Josh over in the corner starting to do push ups like right before <laughs> we film the scene. I'm like, oh, whoa, 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 let me hop over here. And then I start doing push ups. So it's just the so first incline and then it's the incline. Yeah, yeah. Joshua, last season, season two. Ricky was going through a little bit of a hard time. He was dealing with his parents' separation, dealing with a breakup. And he was really just trying to come to terms with who he is outside of like his relationship. Mm. So just in the third season, how is Ricky Bowen doing? Yeah, Ricky Bowen is tired of being tired. And I think he, he is, you know, ready to rip the bandaid off and have a summer of fun. And I think, you know, we catch him sort of just putting a happy face on. It's being like, you know what? I'm just going to change my attitude to make this summer the best it can be. Obviously life has a way of catching up to you, but, um, but yeah, I think he's just trying to make the most of the moment. And I think he's realized that he's lived in his head for a lot of the last two years. And now he's like, it's summer camp. So let's just live and have fun. So that's where you meet him, but obviously it's high school musical, the musical, the series. So, uh, lots of fun twists and turns down the road, but awesome. Well, it's good to hear that maybe Ricky might be, you know, getting being a little happier this season maybe yeah. <laughs> after yeah. everything that he was going through and that of course matt we have your character ej he's very different from the character we met in season one mm. uh, he's had a lot of great development he had his own struggles last season you know he everything with the duke um and you know just kind of feeling lost but you know where we left off he seemed like he was in a pretty good place with his friends himself with gina so what can you say is next for him? Yeah, I think uh, I, I think the great thing for him to start the season, you know, we start off and, and him and Gina are, uh, you know, are trying to just make the most of this new relationship they have. And um, he still has his 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 moments of, uh, you know, obviously he didn't get into Duke. And so he still has his moments of trying to impress his dad and prove to certain people that he he is enough and that he is um is you know worth something um i think that was always a, a fear of his and i think you see that uh in the sense of he starts to shift his focus towards uh directing the show but um yeah i think i think it's gonna it's a very fun season for him uh and he he just wants to have fun at camp that's like all he wants to do and just make it the last camp of just being a kid and getting to just have fun with his friends and with his new girlfriend and um you know and then there's there's all kinds of things that ensue from that and uh new new challenges he has to take from that yeah well i mean i also actually wanted to ask about the dynamic between both of your characters between uh ricky and ej because season one they did not get off on the best foot <laughs> But season two, they really did form a friendship. So what is that going to look like in season three? Yeah, I think I think it's funny because in a way it mirrors, although not nearly as seriously, but I think Matt and I, as well as Ricky and EJ, are sort of like cheering each other on, but at the same yeah. time, they're like looking over their shoulder, like, yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to be the best at this, or I, you know, there's that sort of competitive nature. And I think Matt and I do that in terms of like, if I start working out and Matt starts noticing that he's like, oh, I got to get to the gym. And yeah. starts, I'm like, shoot, Matt's been lifting. I got to go. But um, yeah, so I think that the dynamic obviously has twists and turns and there's still two dudes in theater. So there's that competitive nature, let alone the romance and the drama, which no one will get into now, but, um, but yeah, it is, it is fun to play with the dynamics of, of Ricky and EJ and see how they evolve. And there's a lot of, a lot of spice in season three that I think people are going to dig. Yeah. There was actually, there's actually a lot of moments where both of us are wearing tank tops and scenes. And so I'll see Josh over in the corner starting to do push ups like right before <laughs> we film the scene. And I'm like, Oh, whoa, 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 let me hop over here. And then I start doing push ups. So it's just the on first incline. And then on it's like, the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Awesome. And then, well, I also wanted to ask, because you guys are doing Frozen this year, how are the roles of uh, this play going to switch things up? I think the casting always does a fun job of, of forcing characters to be with different characters that maybe they wouldn't have been with before. I, I can't really give you much because we can't reveal the cast, but um, th th it is so brilliantly casted and there's so many funny moments that are just impeccable. And it's actually really fun to like now be on this third season with these characters and see how they've evolved and to mm -hmm. see them be put into different roles and, you know, 
go from the top to the bottom or vice versa or people getting opportunities or not getting opportunities and how that deals with your image and ego and, and all that stuff. I'm not really giving you much of an answer here because I can't, but I will say that, that it, it is really fun how they cast everything and, and um, everyone in the roles just kills me. I, 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 I'm such a fan. So I'm excited for people to see. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad if you wanted to jump in on that. Yeah, no, it's it's perfectly. I mean, the writers do such a great job at um, at casting specific characters in specific spots in, in the show. Um, and and I think, as Josh said, everyone fits it so perfectly. Even like so many unexpected, you know, casting uh, decisions. Um, but it's also perfect because then each individual casting decision leads to its own little like you know small story about that, and you see like kind of the journey for each character through uh, why they got that role and then what that means to them um, and, and the things through that. And it's actually, it's, it's funny, it's heartwarming, it's, um, it's, it's beautiful. Awesome, well I know fans are definitely looking forward to see how the casting turns out and the season. So thank you guys both so much for your time. Can't wait until the premiere. Thank, thank you, Rachel, you. appreciate it.